You know, on March 15th, I'm being American heavyweight contender Deontay Wilder. You know, we'll be looking to notch his 31st consecutive knockout in his 12 round scheduled bout against Malik Scott on Showtime. Now, Deontay was 6 7, wants to impress the American fans watching him from home in his WBC heavyweight eliminator bout in order to give them a glimpse of what could be the future heavyweight champion of the world. You know, if Deontay can get past Scott, then the next step will be Wilder facing the winner of the Bermuda Steve Byrne versus Chris Ariola bout for the WBC heavyweight strap. Now, the Deontay Scott fight will be uh, taking place at the uh, Coliseo. Ruben Rodriguez and Bayamon Puerto Rico. Now, it's not the ideal venue for Deontay because I'm sure that he would much prefer that the Scott fight take place in Vegas. But Guadalupe Promotions are trying to take advantage of the WBA, WBC, like what the weight champion Danny Garcia's Puerto Rican roots by staging a fight in Puerto Rico in hopes that Garcia can somehow build a huge fan base there, similar to Miguel Cotta. Now, you know, Garcia will be fighting. Mauricio Herrera in the main event on the guard. Quote, you know, I'm ready to show the world that the Bronze Bombers here is ready to be a road champion, Deontay said. I'm not looking uh, past Malik. I'm definitely looking through him because I want these. Now, Deontay could be the future star of the heavyweight division. I mean, get a whole, uh, you know, if he could get a whole of one of those heavyweight titles, you know, you may uh, see him go on a long Klitschko type reign where he holds on the... Uh, one of the world titles for many years without getting beaten. Now we could conceivably, uh, you know, see this Deontay winding up with an incredible knockout record, popularly not seen since Mike Tyson days as heavyweight champion. Now, you know, Deontay went on to trash the British heavyweights Derek Jasor and Tyson Fury, going Jasor a uh, one trick bony due to his habit of throwing mostly over the hand rights and trying to wear down the, sh uh, the shape opposition like Gavin Johnson. And Deontay also said this, a fear, quote, you know, he's got to be ashamed of himself to come up in, come in at such a weight. Uh, you know, Fury weighed in in uh, Blubbery 274 for his recent mismatch against Joey Abu. And it looks like he uh, trained on a diet of donuts and chocolate M&Ms for the past eight months. Now, Deontay thinks Abu could have knocked Fury out if he had a better chin and a little more power. You know, Fury was there to be, uh, you know, well... You know, Fury was there to be knocked out if Abel was a little better than what he was. Which, no. You know, but uh, Deontay's on a different path than Fury. Just, or, you know, we're looking to meet up in the summer in WBO Limiter. We're trying to become the WBO mandatory for the champion Vladimir. Now, to be sure, one of them will get uh, locked in as a mandatory for Curly Show. But we're talking about being locked in to be knocked out and beat him badly. It's neither Fury or Tresor anywhere close to Vladimir in the talent department.